31 German Whitehead Pointer Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. A versatile, sporty, and sturdy gun dog, the German Whitehead Pointer is a medium-sized breed. Male German Whitehead Pointers typically stand 24 to 26 inches tall, while females are a bit shorter with a minimum height of 22 inches. Regardless of gender, dogs of this breed usually weigh between 50 and 70 pounds. Number 2. These pointers are famous for their distinctive facial hair, featuring a gentlemanly mustache and beard. However, what's not widely known is that these bushy facial features serve a practical purpose. They provide protection for the face and eyes, guarding against scratches and injuries, particularly in the environments they used to hunt in. Number 3. German wire-haired pointers are best known for their unique double coat consisting of a coarse wiry outer coat that propels water. This outer layer works in conjunction with a water-resistant inner coat, providing insulation and making them well suited for outdoor activities. Number 4. The German wire-haired typically comes in two standard colors, recognized by the AKC, liver and liver in white. These beautiful coat colors are further adorned with various markings, which can include ticked, spotted, roan, or roan and ticked patterns. It's worth noting that while black and white wire Wirehead pointers do exist, they are heavily penalized in the AKC confirmation shows. Nevertheless, they still make excellent companions. Number 5. Distinguishing between the German wirehead pointer and the wirehead pointing griffon can be a big challenge. They share similar colors and wiry coats, but there are key differences. Griffons tend to look more rugged, while wirehead pointers have thinner coats and sport a more refined mustache and beard. If you spot a wirehead pointer that appears shaggy and unkempt, it's most likely not a wirehead pointer, but a griffon. Number 6. The German wire-haired pointer is also often confused with the German short-haired pointer due to their similar heritage. However, wire-haireds are bigger, stockier, and have a wiry coat, while short-haireds have short fur. The most noticeable difference lies in their facial features. Wire-haired pointers have shaggy eyebrows, a mustache, and a beard, giving them a refined, intelligent expression, where German short-haired pointers have shorter facial fur. Number 7. The customary practice for German wire-haired pointers involves tail docking to about two-fifths to their natural length. However, in places where tail docking is prohibited, their tails should gracefully extend to reach down to the hocks. These dogs also have webbed feet, a common trait seen with the German pointer breeds. Number 8. Stanley Korn's book The Intelligence of Dogs ranks German short-haired pointers at the 17th position among 79 dog breed groups in terms of obedience intelligence. These dogs are recognized as excellent working dogs displaying the ability to grasp command within 5 to 15 repetitions, and they typically follow the first command correctly 85% of the time or more. Number 9. German wire-haired pointers may display a degree of independence and stubbornness, which can be traced back to their original breeding purpose of hunting waterfowl on both land and in water. And because of this, they tend to think independently and may display some willfulness, and at times choose not to heed issued commands showcasing their innate, independent nature. Number 10. These guys have earned the endearing nickname Velcro Dogs due to their tendency to form strong bonds with their loved ones. They are known to establish particularly deep connections with one favorite person. If you happen to be their chosen companion, companion, don't expect much privacy, because they'll stick to you like glue even in the bathroom. Number 11. The breed is well-suited for swimming and water-related activities due to their thick, weather-resistant coats that provide protection against the cold and potential thorny obstacles in the water. Their webbed feet enhance their movement in the water. So if your wire-haired pointer wants to take a quick dip in the pool during the summer, it's a great idea to let them enjoy it without any worry. Number 12. German wirehairs have a strong prey drive because of their hunting ancestry. They could be intensely focused when pursuing small animals like squirrels and birds, or anything they perceive as prey, often disregarding their surroundings. So you gotta keep them on a leash whenever they are outdoors to ensure their safety and the safety of others. Number 13. These German pups have a notable wanderlust potential, intensified by their high prey drive. German wirehead pointers often have a tendency to dash away from home and cover long distances in pursuit of prey, risking unforeseen accidents. That's why you gotta provide them with a securely fenced yard to keep them safe and prevent such incidents. Number 14. The breed tends to get along well with other dogs when raised together from puppyhood. However, some German wirehead pointers may display aggression towards newly introduced dogs, and males may also exhibit same sex aggression. It's worth noting that they are not well suited for smaller pets such as cats and rodents due to their high prey drive and instinctual chasing tendencies. Number 15. These guys can also exhibit possessiveness over their toys, food, and even their human companions. It's quite typical for them to protect their favorite toy or show a preference for certain types of food. They might also display possessive behaviors, particularly towards family members with whom they share a strong connection. Number 16. German wirehairs are a generally healthy breed, often enjoying a lengthy average life 
expectancy ranging from 14 to 16 years. Given proper care, love, and attention, many of these dogs can thrive and surpass their expected years, leading fulfilling and extended lives. Number 17. Just like all dog breeds, the German Wildhead Pointer can be susceptible to certain health conditions. Some of the health issues to be vigilant about in this breed include hyponoblodysplasia, entropion, cataracts, von Willebrand's disease, and progressive retinal atrophy. Number 18. These dogs are also at a heightened risk for autoimmune thyroiditis, a thyroid disease where the immune system targets the thyroid gland in dogs. Although this condition is more frequently observed in breeds like Akitas, Dobermans, and Beagles, it can also affect German wire-haired pointers. Number 19. In the summary results of the Purebred Dog Health Survey for German Wirehead Pointers conducted by the United Kennel Club, a total of 41 Wirehead Pointer deaths were documented. This data unveiled the median age of death for German Wirehead Pointers to be 10 years, which is slightly below the overall median of 11 years and 3 months for dogs in general. Number 20. The survey also highlighted the most prevalent causes of death in the breed. Among the 41 reported deaths, 24.4% of the deaths were due to cancer, 19.5% resulted from old age, and 9.8% were linked to behavioral issues. Number 21. The German Wirehaired Pointer is a highly energetic breed known to become destructive if not provided with enough physical and mental stimulation. To prevent destructive behaviors such as excessive barking, digging, and furniture chewing, you gotta ensure they receive ample exercise and mental engagement. Keeping your Wirehaired Pointer satisfied is key to maintaining a tidy home and a yard. Number 22. The breed also excels in various dog sports thanks to their powerful drive and high intelligence. They are strong contenders in agility and obedience, showcasing their innate prey drive. This inherent nature also makes them excellent participants in lure coursing and dog diving, further highlighting their versatility and athletic prowess. Number 23. Young German wire-haired pointers, especially those under 2 years old, are bursting with energy, and they often participate in lively plays that include jumping and potentially knocking over objects or individuals. As they mature, their enthusiasm tends to decrease, but you still gotta offer them adequate training and exercise to direct their exuberance positively. Number 24. In the late 1800s, German hunters created the German wire-haired pointer with a specific purpose in mind, to fashion a resilient canine capable of hunting diverse game across all types of terrain. Beyond being skilled hunters, breeders aimed to create dogs that could be excellent companions and watch dogs while also displaying a quick ability to learn new tricks. Number 25. Breeders skillfully combined the best attributes of the pointer, poodle, wire-haired pointing griffons, and foxhound to create the versatile German wire-haired pointer. This all purpose canine was bred to possess remarkable pointing and retrieving skills, excelling on both land and in water, regardless of weather conditions or environmental obstacles. Number 26. The name German Wirehaired Pointer is the English translation of the German breed name Deutsch Drathar. In the early 1800s, breeding wire-coated pointing dogs became a passion among German sportsmen. Later in the century, there was a growing interest in classifying dogs by breed rather than just by type in Britain and on the continent. As a result, harsh-coated gun dogs like the German Wirehaired Pointer, Poodle Pointer, and German Broken-Coated Pointer were officially recognized as separate breeds. Number 27. In 1928, the German Wirehaired Pointer received a recognition and was admitted to the German cartel for dogs. It was introduced to the United States in the 1920s and in 1953, the German Drathar Club of America was formed. Number 28. In 1959, the German wire-haired pointer achieved formal recognition from the American Kennel Club. This milestone led to the renaming of the parent club, which became officially known as the German wire-haired pointer club of America. Number 29. The German wire-haired pointer remains a cherished hunting companion today, popular both in Germany, known as the Deutsch Dothar, and in the United States, where they rank 59th out of 199 registered breeds in the AKC's 2022 list of popular dog breeds based on nationwide registrations. Number 30. The German wire-haired, being highly popular and in demand, often comes with a significant price tag. Purchasing a pup from a reputable breeder can cost between $800 and $1,200, with an average price of approximately $900. However, exceptional bloodlines may warrant prices well exceeding $1,500. Number 31. In 1972, Disney released The Biscuit Eater, a film that showcased a German wire-haired pointer named Moreover. This troublemaking dog undergoes a transformation, evolving into a prize-winning bird pointer. Notably, The Biscuit Eater was the final film in Disney's Boy and His Dog genre, which is a genre that was beginning to lose popularity during that period. Alright guys, now which of these wire-haired pointer facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.